And this is how you end a Labor Day weekend. Cheers. Hey campers, George here. A wet, humid afternoon. Just had a bunch of rain and it's still drizzling a bit and probably going to get some more rain. But we're outdoors. <laughs> and what I'm doing today is I'm going to look at some stuff that I bought for my kids. They're coming camping, getting them ready. <laughs> going to teach them some outdoor camping style. Not this California stuff, but the way we do it in Minnesota. Stay tuned. I know there's a good place down here. I think this is the place. Let's check it out. Huh. Riverfront property. <laughs> yeah, I think this will work. So here we are, we're all set up. I put up the top quickly, I don't know if you can see it there. And uh, all I did was use my DD hammocks uh, top, the three by three, and just made a basic setup with what I had available. And that's where we'll play. So, are you ready for this? Let's have a look at these uh, packs that I put together for my girls. So we're all cozy here at my little spot. I kind of like this spot. It's a favorite for me right now. And what I wanted to go over with you was, the reason I came out, was I wanted to try out this little gizmo here. And this, uh, I did a uh, first review um, a couple of months ago before I went to San Diego to visit my girls. And I actually used it as a carry-on for the uh, the flight down there. Didn't overpack it or anything. Um, I had bought it at Walmart. And uh, it worked pretty well. I, I kind of like it. And the price is right. Check it out. Anyway, um, my girls are coming down to go camping for uh, three days down in Iowa with me. At the end of the month. And... They're kind of California girls. What can I say? They grew up there. Um, they did grow up on a farm. So you know what they say. You can take the girl out of the farm. But you can't get the farm out of the girl. So I'm hoping that's true. And we're going to go camping my way. And that is no fancy glamping. We're going to camp the way I would do it if I was on my own. And obviously to do that I needed to get them ready. Um, basically what I've done here is use this backpack um, as a kind of day pack, uh, a bob pack, a get home bag, whatever you want to call it. Very basic. It's a beginner's pack. Um, doesn't have everything they're going to need, but it's pretty close um, should they find themselves in a tough situation. Uh, I'm hoping that when... <laughs> They come out camping and we go through these bags with them and I show them how to use the different stuff and they already know a lot of it. Um, I'm hoping it'll get them back into the outdoors and enjoy it like I do. So that's the plan. Let's see what we put together and what I'm going to do is, uh, if you look in the description below, I'm going to list everything that's in there and how much it costs and see how much it costs to put these bags together. There's actually two of them, they're exactly the same. So. Let's check it out. So what we have here, um, the pack, is actually an outdoor products and it's called the Odyssey. Very inexpensive and it's not bad. Um, as you can see on the front, it has the typical elastics on it. Um, it has the side pouch on each side. And it actually has three compartments. You've got a smaller one in the front. You've got a middle one, which is, which is a little bit bigger than the front, and then you've got the main pouch at the back. It does have a hydration uh, slot in the back here for you to use that if you use it. Obviously, I don't, you know that. And just 
regular straps. They're not bad. They're fairly comfortable. As you saw, I did wear it on the way out here, and it does have a chest, a chest strap. It does not have a hip strap. That's the only thing that's missing, and it would have been nice if they'd put some molly on it. Um, that would have been a, a nice touch. But obviously, this is just really a day bag, and for 15 bucks, can't complain. And if you'd like to know more about it, I did go through it on my review, my first uh, first look at it. And I'll put a link up top here if you want to have a look at that. But let's see what we did. This knife, actually, does not belong to the pack. This is actually my day pack knife that I have. And it's my uh, browning. And I, I just put it on there just in case there is other stuff in there. And we'll get to that. So let's look at the front pouch here. Um, in here, and I've just stuffed uh, everything in here because I want them to pack it the way they want it. But what I have is a little dry bag, um, some Repel bug spray, which I've already used because I didn't bring mine and I'm getting eaten alive, some Germex, a lantern, and I do like these little guys. They have uh, two brightnesses, low and high, and they work pretty well. Very inexpensive. They're about eight bucks, and they work really well. Um, there is another one here, which is this one, which is kind of more of a wand, and it's an LED light. Um, I just put it in because I had two of them. Trash bag. 550 cord. Some more 550 cord. basic first aid pouch um, it's just the one you buy in the store and uh, I'll advise them on what they need to add to it and the Mora companion do you like the color they are girls after all and I've never owned a Mora I've only heard good things about it so we'll see when we go camping how they do so that goes in this front pouch, and, and I, like I said, I just put everything in here. I'm going to leave it up to each of them um, to decide how they want to pack them. In. And then, as I said, in the middle pouch, um, I have basically their cook systems. Um, this is your performance fuel. Obviously, they, I got them a, uh, a cook system. And uh, what it has in it is a bunch of stuff. No. <laughs> this is actually the kitchen right here. The fuel. Single burner. Two fold-out mugs. cutlery, a knife, fork and spoon um, inside here, a towel, trash bag, a small plate and a bigger plate. So that's basically what goes in the middle power, I believe. And I'm actually going to try out this cooker uh, because I, I haven't tested them and I don't, I don't own one. I have a uh, MSR Pocket Rocket. Nice little one and it has a Pizio start on it, which is not bad. And they open up fairly easy. Screw onto the thing, has a nice control on it for the gas. And then, of course, your automatic lighter. I'm not going to uh, have them rely on that. I want them to learn how to use a ferro rod to light them because uh, should that fail, they still need to be able to light up there. So that's their single burner, which I'm actually going to use today to make me some food in a cuppa. Just want to see how they work. And then in the back pouch here, um, it's actually only has this which is an emergency blanket one of the stiffer tough ones um, I forget the size but I'll put all the information in below 
and uh, they, it's tied up. Um, and then they can put a jacket, rain, rain cover, or anything else in the one year. I just have my uh, um, things bag, my possibles pouch. I just put it in here just to fill it up. Um, but they were on the front. You have a little pouch which uh, they can put a snack or something in there or their phone or whatever. On this side pouch, I got them the clean canteen. Um, it's the smaller one. I didn't get the big one. This is the 800 mil stainless steel. And on this side, as you can see in this side pocket, I have the Stanley steel cook set up. And I've showed you this before, you know, there is a, uh, um, I'll put a link up to it. I did a review on this and the part. And uh, this is actually brand new, never been used. <laughs> and it, it has the, the little mugs inside. You can see in here, it has two of these. Handy, this will be their cook pot. This is where they'll cook their meals. Find this. Um, which is an Ozark Trails mug and it just so happened cleaning it off he says that nests right in it really nicely so that goes on the side pouch here and that's basically it the plan is they'll each have one of these I'll have my day pack uh, my camping pack actually and then we're going to have a communal bag this is a starter bag for them it gets them going, and then they can add whatever they want. Be interesting to see what they think of them. So there you go. Day pack, Bob pack, 72 hour emergency pack. Call it what you want. It's the outdoor products, Odyssey, like I said. I'm starving. I think I'm going to cook me a meal. So this is uh, the little burner I got. For their packs it's an e-tech city ultralight uh, backpacking stove um, it actually came in a pack of two it comes in this little case folds up really nicely in there and it has a piezo starter like i said it's just a click starter and i believe off the top of my head i think they were like 14 dollars for two not bad Let's see how it works. Like I said before, when you screw on the tops, always make sure there's no leak. Although there we go here. And of course these fold out. A little grips on here. Wow. Let's see. We have coffee and tea making. And we have Parmesan cheese. And we have a little spaghetti, pasta. Ooh. So, let's get on with it. So I've got my spaghetti in the pot. Let's uh, fire this sucker up. It seems to work pretty good. Let's see how it does. Um, the flame is pretty direct on it, so that's... Uh, which is good for this pot, but I think a bigger pot might be a problem. So it's been a, a minute or two and already this is almost ready to be eaten. You can see in there. Oh. It heated it up pretty quickly. Up next, I'm going to make me a cup of coffee. Coffee is ready and it's raining. Dinner, coffee and a backpack.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. And I will be back to show you what happens at the camp out. Just saying. Bye.